Hi there, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy. Today I'm going to show you um, on this textured background that I made in a previous video how to apply treasure gold on top of it. Treasure gold is a wax, it comes in a small jar and you can apply it directly onto almost any surface. It goes really well onto metal charms to change the colour of a charm. It goes beautifully on top of wood and it's also perfect directly onto cardstock. Um, on this particular card earlier I put ferro texture paste through a stencil. I heated the texture paste while it was wet so that we got a nice rounded shape to the leaves and now it's nice and dry so I'm going to come over the top with treasure gold. This is a great way for you to see some of the colours and how they um, blend together so nicely. So when I'm applying it directly onto a tag like this I want to get a really scrappy brush and I work the product quite vigorously into the texture. So this one's onyxite. It's a very chocolatey colour with quite a coppery hint to it. Then you want to contrast that with something else. So let's go to this one here is sapphire. Sapphire is a nice bluey tone. And again I just work that straight into the tag in a sort of a scrubbing motion. Now if I'm going to change colours, get rid of the excess and then let's go to something contrasting. So this one is called Classic and it's a much lighter colour. But this is going to sort of act as a bridge between the other two colours and it will knock them back a little bit and you can create secondary colours. For example, if you take something like Royal Amethyst, which is this really amazing purple, and mix that with silver, you'll get a real lilac tone. So it's quite smart move if you're going to buy one of these darker colours to get a light one with it and then you can create other shades in between. You see how these colours are blending together quite nicely. Got as much on my craft tag there, craft sheet. Here we go. Now, how about we warm it up with a warmer gold? This one's Spanish topaz. And I didn't think this would be one of my favourite colours because it's quite a brassy, um, what I call a brassy gold, but actually it's a really yellowy gold and it's beautiful. It just seems to work on top of everything because it's such a warmth to it. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dry this um, with a heat tool and it will encourage the wax to sort of sink down into the tag. Now the wax wasn't actually wet in the first place but it does kind of, if it makes sense, I know it sounds odd, but it does kind of need to dry and by doing that, heating it, it sinks it down into the tag and then you can come over the top with a soft cloth and you actually can sort of buff it up and it will go a whole lot shinier, which probably our camera is going to struggle with, but it does polish up. Which is also quite pretty. Right, now what I want to do now is highlight some of these leaves a little bit more. So I'm going to go to a really light colour. This one's pewter and it's a really pretty sort of knocked back silver and then just sort of lightly come over the top and because we've got that quite raised texture, it's not too difficult to pick up the peaky bits. This is silver is also a really good way to knock back other colours. So if it's gone a bit uh, dark for your liking, then you can use the silver to knock it back a bit. And of course, you can always use your finger. So if you want um, to highlight even more, then you come over with your finger. Just 
So there you go. A few ideas for you with treasure gold. Now one of the questions people often ask is, how do I clean my craft sheet? You can't use water-based products to clean treasure gold, it just isn't compatible and you also can't use water to clean your brush. So how do you do these things? Well there's a product that we sell called Brush Bath and this is to clean your brushes not just from treasure gold but also from liquid leaf which is um, a product manufactured by the same company. Now my brush bath gets pretty contaminated because I'm a bit of a shocker and I just tend to dip um, my brush in there but you can use this to clean off your craft sheet like so and then you want to just take the excess onto a paper towel and there's going to be all sorts because I use a lot of different colors as you know and then we just clean that up now brush bath is a very strong smelling product so if you are sensitive to that kind of thing then it's probably not for you but it certainly makes it the job quite fast now I've figured out another quite cool thing to do with brush bath and if you dip a brush into it and then go pick up a bit of colour so let's go to sapphire you can create a more liquid version of your treasure gold by putting a drop of brush bath into that pot and that means that if you've got a very textured area to cover that your product is going to sink really nicely into those textured areas so much more easily than if you just tried to apply straight out of the pot where it would just see if I apply straight out of the pot at the side there it's just going to sit on the top but if you get a dip of the liquid from the brush bath and make that kind of nice sloppy mixture it just sinks straight down into the texture. Now this is really handy not only if you're covering textured areas but if you've if you want to make your product go a whole lot further so if you've got a big area that needs coverage then this is a quite a good way to do it. Now the active ingredient in the brush bath evaporates off very very quickly so your little sloppy uh, mixture in there quite quickly turns back to normal so uh, you have to you do have to work quite fast let's just go to a bit of a contrasting color get some emerald Ooh. what's not to like about this stuff it's just so much fun to work with but you do need to do this in a well ventilated space otherwise you'll end up a bit more of a happy crafter than you expected to. Often when I'm demoing it shows people sort of go whoa because it is very strong smelling. Okay so that's how you use your brush bath. Now when that has dried off I could rub over the top. I'm just going to put the lid on that because that is quite powerful. I'm going to dry this off. Now, obviously it's a lot wetter than it was so I'm just going to dry that. If you watched the previous video, this is one of our Artemio wooden shapes. They come three in a pack. There's all kinds. There's frames. There's all sorts of bits and pieces. And the leaves I love. I quite often just chop along there and then sit one of our little birds, a die-cut bird in the branch. But they just make fabulous embellishments onto tags. So now that we've got a sort of a base coat, it's probably a good idea to come over the top with something contrasting because this leaf, we splattered some... Um, white puff paint on here earlier and uh, that's given almost a vein type effect because we splattered it on using a palette knife it sort of went you know smack 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 and it's created all those sucky up little patterns that you get and um, so when you come over the top with another layer of treasure gold you really highlight some of that pattern. Now if you decide that you don't like how that how the contrast looks of course you can always use your brush bath dip your brush in it and you can go back and soften that out again so 
brush bath is quite a handy thing to have around. Uh, it certainly gives you all sorts of options, whether it's cleaning your brushes, but also thinning down your treasure golds to a slightly different consistency. Also nice if you use a really fine paintbrush for colouring in areas. So, hope you enjoy that. Give it a go.